you you may be concerned about bad data from IPSLA through rogue responses, malicious responses, and if that's the case, if that's the case, with a big if, you can choose to authenticate IPSLA. I would not say this is the norm to authenticate IPSLA, but if you find the need, absolutely you can. So the constructs that you'll build are a lot like EIGRP constructs for authentication. EIGRP has keychains, right? That's what we're doing here. Build a arbitrary name for the keychain, which is case sensitive, but it's not part of the message digest that is generated. Then a key ID and a key string, those are paired up, blended together, and part of the MD5 hash that is going to be used to authenticate. And then you attach that keychain to your communication. So if you're sending out to your responder, you want hyper accurate data, you want to make sure we're not getting some spoofed response back, this would be the structure to use. I would use it sparingly. I would not expect to see this in a standard IPSLA configuration.